As we close today, I want to read a statement. Uh, as many of you know uh, by now, uh, probably during the day yesterday, a newly launched website is creating quite a stir on our campus. And yesterday, when we became aware of it, we decided to block it uh, from campus using the Harding firewall. We know that this does not keep the site off campus since anyone with a smartphone has easy access to it. And I think it's important for you to know that we're not trying to control your thinking on this matter. But it was important for us to block the website because of what it says about Harding, who we are, and what we believe. I personally found the website to be offensive and degrading. I won't even publicly speak the web address, not because I think I can keep it from you, but because the address itself is offensive to me. While the postings appear to be sincere and heartfelt, several were vulgar and profane by anybody's standards, and the rhetoric is often extreme. So let me try to clear up a few things before we leave this morning. First, there's the matter of what the student handbook does and does not say. On page 11, in the section on social wellness, the handbook states, and I quote, Harding University holds to the biblical principle that sexual relationships are unacceptable to God outside the context of marriage. Sexual immorality in any form will result in suspension from the university. You can see from this statement that homosexual behavior is not specifically targeted by our handbook. We believe that sex is the creation of God and is meant to be holy, just as God is holy. Consequently, we believe that all sexual relationships outside of marriage are immoral. This includes premarital sex and extramarital sex among heterosexuals as well as homosexual acts. Those who assert that Harding has a double standard and somehow considers homosexual behavior to be a sin above all other sins misunderstands our stated position. Secondly, I want to make clear that bullying, whether physically, verbally, or on Facebook, is not acceptable behavior at Harding. If we find out about such things, we will act quickly and decisively to protect every member of this campus community. Finally, and just as importantly, I want to reaffirm that I believe that the Bible teaches that homosexual behavior is sinful. Romans 1 and 1 Corinthians 6 both state this. What is acceptable and holy in the sight of God is not determined by societal norms of democratic voting. There are plenty of recent writers who view the words of the Bible as simply the bigoted writing of ancient men who were seeking to exert power over others for their own advantage. I completely disagree with this notion. We believe the Bible is God-breathed and is the revelation of our holy God to his beloved creation. Consequently, we believe that we're to live humbly with the prayer of Jesus on the cross in our hearts. Father, your will, not mine, be done. I hope this clears up a few things on this matter. I believe Harding, I believe this with all of my heart, is the most special place on earth. And I think we have the most incredible student body to be found anywhere. And I pray that as we leave today that you have a very richly blessed day. Thank you. You are dismissed.